This week's word of the week is going to be chicken tracks, and uh, I kind of wrote two over here on a scale of one to ten, one not being a big deal, ten being a big deal. If you don't know what chicken tracks are, it's kind of like a lower level thing, just because it's not a real word. It's a term that's commonly used in welding, but it's not an official term. The AWS has never said that chicken tracks is an official term, so that's why I kind of put it down. But understanding what it is is very important. Um, it's also commonly referred to as wormholes. I've always called it chicken tracks. Um, it's just what I've always called it. Um, I've always heard it through uh, you know people I've worked with in the industry as chicken tracks. A lot of people call it wormholes as well, so I threw that up there as well. And the reason that I'm making this video on chicken tracks is we just pulled some flux core welders out that had sat all summer, and the summer tends to be humid, and the wire tends to get a little bit uh, bad. So I pulled out the flux core welders, and I said, let me do a couple welds here. I want to see if I get chicken tracks, and the people that I was talking to just kind of looked at me, and I realized they didn't know what chicken tracks were. So I said, all right, I'm going to do a video on chicken tracks because I have them. It's not something that you want to get. So if I have them, I'm going, to do, I'm going to shoot this video because I have them, and I'm going to clean it up and make sure that they go away by the end of the day. So they'll be gone at the end of the day, so I'm doing the video on the chicken tracks right now. Hopefully the hell makes sense. Um, what are they really? They're gas pockets. So as your weld is solidifying, the gas is trying to get out, and in flux core you're going to have slag, and the gas kind of forms these little pockets under the slag because it didn't quite get through the slag before it solidified. So it's a little kind of like a hole, but it's not like a whole hole, it's kind of, it's tubular, that looks like chicken tracks or worm holes, that's why they, they call them that. So, uh, we're going to kind of go over what the causes are, if you can fix it, how you fix it, and then I'm going to go out there and show you the welds that I did that had chicken tracks, and then I'm going to show you the welds that I did after I fixed it. So, right now we're going to go into the causes, um, too long of a stick out, uh, too much moisture in the air, dirty workpiece, condensation in the shielding gas. And I started this one right here, bad wire, because that's mainly, when I've gotten chicken tracks, it's always been because of bad wire, really. I don't think I've ever had any, anything, any chicken tracks based off any of these other ones. I just, you know, got on the internet and looked up what people have had problems with chicken tracks, what was causing it, and this is what I found on the internet. I'm going to focus on bad wire, because that's usually where I've gotten chicken tracks. So, to fix this stuff, two of them, too much air, or too much moisture in the air, and condensation in the shielding gas you're kind of stuck with unless you wait for a day where it's, there's less moisture in the air or I don't know, wait for the condensation to go down in the shielding gas. I don't know how you would do that. If you're you know, production welding, you can't just stop welding and say, I'm going to wait for the shielding gas to you know, get the condensation out. So you're kind of stuck with those two in my opinion. Um, there's some obvious fixes. Too long of a stick out, you know, shorten that you know, stick out down. And then you know, dirty workpiece, clean your workpiece, right? Uh, Grind it, wire wheel, whatever you got to do, get dirt, grease, grind off of it to make it nice and clean. But I'm going to focus on the bad wire down here because that's the most common thing that I've had go on when I've gotten uh, chicken tracks. So what happens with flux cord wires, uh, you got to care for them uh, right on the money by code, all right? So when you break that hermetically sealed uh, package when, with flux cord wires, you're letting moisture in, right? So if you look at a MIG wire, it's got that nice gold color to it because there's copper on the outside of it. Well, flux cord wires don't have that. And they have flux in the middle, which is a powder which can draw in moisture. So more times than not, if you're getting chicken tracks, what happened is you had the wire sitting in the machine too long. Or if you took the wire and just threw it in a cabinet when you weren't using it and didn't like put it in a bag and seal it up the best you can, it's going to draw in moisture. That's why I'm saying bad wire is the most common cause of these chicken tracks and it's usually because people flux core or have a flux core welder and maybe they don't use it in their garage very often if it sits for like six months it's going to draw that moisture in and then you're going to get chicken tracks all right so let's say you're getting chicken tra chicken tracks and i wrote down here cosmetic imperfection is it a defect technically it's just a cosmetic imperfection it's not a well defect it's not going to be rejectable unless it exceeds the porosity limits of the code. So for most, for most of the time, it's just a cosmetic imperfection and it's not considered a defect, all right? Now, how do you fix it if it's bad wire? Well, you can throw the wire out. That's the first thing you can do if you want to fix it, right? Most of the time, what happens is, and what I did today, I got the chicken tracks and I was working with this young woman and I said, hey, just go run that for like half an hour. Just do like a patty and see if that goes away. I'd say she ran for about 15 minutes and she came up to me and she says it went away. 
Well, what happens is the outside of the roll is what usually gets the most contaminated as it sits. So she ran the outside roll off the or outside layer of the roll off the wire, and then the wire was good in the middle. So a lot of times, if you have bad wire, all you got to do is run it for a little bit, and it'll eventually go away. Or spool it off and just throw it out and see what happens. And the other thing you can do is they make a little felt. Um, I don't know how, what to call it. It's like a like a Scotch Brite pad that you can put on the wire as it's coming off the roll, going into the rollers, and I'll show you that too. And that cleans it as it goes. So that helps the outside of it, but if it's in the inside, in the inside of the flux, you still gotta get that wire off. So for the most part, if you have bad wire that's sitting around, run it for a little bit and see if it clears up the chicken tracks. Um, if it keeps getting chicken tracks and it's really bad, so sometimes it's really bad. If it's really bad, then you're gonna exceed the porosity limits and it's gonna go into a defect and you might as well throw the wire out and start all over again. And then another thing to keep from getting bad wire, if you do take it off the machine, put it in a plastic bag and duct tape it and keep it in a cool, dry spot. And that'll help you when you put it back on to not get chicken tracks, all right? So hopefully that explains what chicken tracks are and how to prevent them if you have a bad wire. And what we're gonna do now is go out and take a look at them on the welds I did this morning. And then I'm gonna weld again after they've been welding on for a while and hopefully the chicken tracks are gone. And then we'll get out of here. So before we try welding here, see if we got rid of them chicken tracks. That's the thing I was talking about to help clean it up. You put it on the wire, there's the drive rolls right there. And this kind of cleans the outside before it goes in. We put that on every flux core setup we have, whether it's old wire or not. Moving on, let's get this welding going. So here's a look at the chicken tracks I got in the first weld I did when I first fired up the flux core welder after it sat all summer. And that is unacceptable. That's just too much. I'm going to show you the other welds I did in progress from start, or for the first one to the last one that I did, before I had the, uh, the young woman actually do a padding to get rid of this and just run the wire off, and I'll show you the padding she did. And then I'm going to try and film a... T joint that I, I'll weld here now that it's better. If I get the shot, I get the shot. If I don't, it won't be in here. So we'll see what happens. Next weld. So I did that T joint next, and you can see just a huge amount of chicken tracks, too much. That's rejectable. And I did that lap joint, and it got a little bit less, but it's still pretty bad. So I would say that's rejectable as well. On to the next weld. This is the uh, last one I did before I had her do the patty, and you can see there's a pretty big uh, wormhole right in the beginning there. And I said, run this for a little bit. Let's see if we can get it to go away. And she ran the patty and said it went away. So let's take a look at the patty. And then we're going to film me doing a weld, and we'll look at the uh, weld and make sure it still doesn't have any chicken tracks after we did the fix here. So this is just a piece of scrap, and you can see she ran like, I don't know, three or four beads. And you can see the last one is pretty good, but you can see the chicken tracks right there. And it goes down the, the weld bead right before that, before the last one she did. And you can see the last one it looks pretty good. So I'm going to do like two inches on a plate, and then we'll weld a T-joint. I just welded like, uh, I don't know, two or three inches. And you can see no chicken tracks. So I'm going to do a T-joint now. And then we'll get out of here. Here's a look at the uh, T-joint I just did. You can see there's no chicken tracks in it. So it looks good like we uh, fixed the problem, just ran a little bit of the wire off and we're good to go. So that's all we got for today. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld and hopefully you know what chicken tracks are now and wormholes. Same thing.